Throughout the ages, many spiritual leaders have not only possessed profound wisdom, but also significant material wealth figures, like Jesus interacted with communities while possessing vast resources. Prophet Muhammad amassed considerable wealth and resources, and Manam Musa was famous for his enormous riches and generous spirit. Even the Buddha was born into a life of opulence. These examples demonstrate that being spiritual does not necessarily mean est-wealth. Take Moses, for instance, who was raised. D. By a wealthy Egyptian family, this video is designed for those who aim to accumulate wealth, seeing it as an expression of divine abundance. If you believe that spirituality should exclude from financial wealth, this video may not align with your views. Often people downplay the importance of wealth, Perhaps as a response to the prevalent economic challenges in our society, this attitude can lead to an idealization of poverty masquerading as spiritual purity. However, choosing poverty is not inherently noble or a spiritual requirement by the end of this video. You'll understand why while welcoming wealth is essential for connecting with the divine consciousness, often referred to as the God mind. It's common for those on spiritual journeys to state that money doesn't matter to them, but this is usually a superficial stance in today's world. Money is essential, and ignoring its significance is both unrealistic and insincere. The truth is, financial prosperity is intrinsically linked to our spiritual and conscious growth. Denying this fact only harms our personal and spiritual development by accepting and m. Bracing wealth, we open ourselves to a deeper spiritual connection, and the opportunity to realize our full potential within the divine plan incorporating wealth into our lives doesn't detract from our spiritual objectives, rather it can complement and enhance them. Having wealth provides the means to contribute more significantly to our communities and pursue personal development without the burdens of financial insecurity. It allows us to live, fully serve our highest ideals, and support others on their spiritual journeys, recognizing and embracing the role of wealth, which in spiritual contexts enables us to lead lives that are not only materially abundant, but also rich with purpose and meaning, as we delve into the relationship between wealth and spirituality. Let's consider how financial prosperity can exist harmoniously with and even enhance our spiritual pursuits. Conceptualizing the God mind, discussing the God mind, or the Most High is crucial as it represents the ultimate level of consciousness, transcending everyday experiences. Yet many are mired in survival mode, a basic existence far removed from this eleva. Ted consciousness primarily concerned with basic needs like food and shelter. This disparity highlights why focusing solely on accumulating wealth is misguided. Obsessing over material gains keeps one in a lower vibrational state, distant from any divine influence. How then can one ascend to higher consciousness amidst financial struggles? The answer lies in transforming our understanding and management of money, demonstrating how a shift in mindset can alleviate financial burdens and elevate awareness spirituality must tangibly impact our lives if it doesn't, it remains superficial embracing financial. Security is essential for spiritual growth, as constant financial stress hinders one's spiritual journey. Understanding money's energy is key to genuine spirituality, moving beyond treating spirituality as mere personality, just a facade. Those who have faced poverty know its harshness and strive never to return to it. We must redefine our view of money and spirituality, recognizing their interconnectedness. This notion may be radical and challenge existing beliefs, but accepting the spiritual value of M. Wani is crucial. I invite you to continue this DISC discussion in the comments as we delve deeper into how changing perspectives on money can transform our spiritual paths. Exploring the spiritual aspect of money, it's important to recognize that spiritual does not imply moral righteousness, but rather pertains to the unseen forces that influence our reality. Money often misunderstood is not about ethical qualities, but is an integral part of the universal energy cycle perspective, aligns with the belief in a limitless creed suggesting that abundance is a natural aspi. CT of existence and a lack of it may indicate a misalignment.
With this divine energy spirituality at its core is about the essence of energy. Reality is constructed from particles which are made of subatomic elements down to wave potentials. Essentially energy waves with without form, quantum mechanics shows us that our consciousness can shape these waves into tangible reality. Thus money is not merely a physical entity but a form of energy that we can learn to master. This mastery can elevate us to what's called the God frequency, a high vibrational state in co. Compatible with financial struggles, the understanding. That money is an energy form crucial for navigating financial challenges applies to to everyone. Recognizing and mastering this energy can transform one's financial experiences, overcoming the universal experience of scarcity, and aligning more closely with the flow of universal abundance, the metaphysics of money. When contemplating money, it's crucial to see beyond its physical form. Be it digits on a screen or paper currency, and recognize its metaphysical essence. Money is not, not just a medium of X, change, but a dynamic energy form that shapes our reality. Historically, money's origins, such as the establishment of the banking system on Jaal Island by influential families are complex, but our focus here is on mastering and directing this energy, not on its historical or mystical aspects. Understanding money as a flowing river with banks Merely as pauses can change our interactions with it. Obstructions in this flow often cause financial difficulties, suggesting that money's problems stem from disruptions in its energetic movement. Viewing money as an acti, V-force allows us to synchronize with its rhythm and unlock. Potential money fundamentally facilitates exchanges of value rooted in emotion. Every purchase from simple everyday items to significant investments, like cars or houses, involves emotional transactions. Recognizing money as a medium for transferring emotional value is essential. This perception helps us align with the universe's natural flow, leading to greater prosperity. Our emotions influence our financial outcomes by emitting specific vibrational energies that shape our reality. Financial markets, T. Themselves are swayed by collective emotions demonstrating the deep connection between our feelings and financial system. Money as energy and emotion. Seeing money as both an emotional and energetic entity transforms our experiences of financial stability or stress. Viewing money as an ally rather than an adversary facilitates a smoother influx of prosperity and revolutionizes our approach to living and engaging with energy. This shift in perspective is more than financial. It's a transformative life approach in the complex dance of survival. Our brain, primarily, relies on the basal ganglia, an ancient area often termed the primal brain. This segment of our neural architecture becomes particularly significant when we're grappling with basic needs. The biblical mark of the beast, metaphorically situated on the head, can be seen as a nod to the primal instincts anchored in this region, especially evident when we're struggling with daily challenges, such as financial burdens moving up the ladder to higher consciousness, often referred to as the God mind, requires transcending these rudimentary survival instincts achieving fin. Angel independence is a critical step in this process free from the shackles of financial stress. One can ascend to levels of consciousness that foster spiritual and mental growth. Interestingly, even in isolated places like the Amazon, the necessity for resources remains a constant. It's quite remarkable if you're tuning in from such a secluded spot. It's essential to grasp that money, a significant emotional driver, is also a type of energy. Large financial exchanges, for instance, are facilitated through satellites using radio waves, another form of energy. These wave as permeate our environment, laden with untapped wealth by actively directing this energy flow towards ourselves instead of ignoring it, we can tap into this latent financial potential. This concept mirrors the practice in many religious congregations where leaders encourage the lifting of hands during prayer, symbolizing an energy projection, recognizing this transfer of energy as both a spiritual and a practical act, allows us to appreciate the profound impact emotions have on financial dealings, breaking the money. Guilt complex. Consider your personal feelie. NGS about spending money grew up with a scarcity. 
Mindset spending might have been associated with pain or seemed unnecessary. Pondering whether to eat or save could have been a frequent dilemma. This reluctance to spend plays a pivotal role, especially in scenarios like business operations, where payroll decisions are influenced by such emotions. Understanding and managing your emotional response to spending money is crucial for financial well-being. Resenting expenditures can disrupt the energy flow of money, hindering prosperity. Whereas joyful spin, ding can attract greater wealth by positively, altering the financial vibrations. This principle is not only important in personal finance, but also in business strategies promoting a healthier approach to monetary distribution. Visualize using your emotions to draw money towards you. Whether paying for fuel groceries or luxuries doing so with joy enhances your financial energy, attracting more. Prosperity. Conversely, worrying about expenditures can create financial blockages. Additionally, unexpected expenses like parking fines or sudden repairs may seem like the universe's way of maintaining financial equilibrium, challenging your emotional resilience as your earning increase. Understanding money's role is crucial. It's not just numbers or paper, but a significant aspect of spiritual enlightenment. Viewing money negatively keeps you in survival mode, far from spiritual elevation. Meanwhile, overcoming the guilt associated with liking money, often influenced by misconceived religious teachings, frees you from restrictive beliefs and leads to greater financial freedom, recognizing a healthy relay. Teenship with money as beneficial, not evil, is essential. For achieving financial and spiritual abundance, money and universal energy money reflects more than just transactions. It mirrors your mindset, often. The real problem is not money itself, but the lack of it, which can lead to greater societal issues than having wealth negative societal views on wealth, and those seeking it only perpetuate a mindset of poverty, making it difficult for those struggling financially to improve their circumstances. Overcoming these feelings of guilt around money is essential. L well, for changing how you interact with and attract wealth. Exploring your relationship with money reveals that a positive approach to finances can enhance both your economic and spiritual life. Understanding that you can shape your financial destiny reveals new possibilities for personal and spiritual growth, transforming your entire perspective on life and abundance. Recognizing that abundance is a natural right, not a privilege, for the few challenges conventional beliefs and societal norms that depict wealth as exclusive. This realization can dismantle men, tal barriers associated with wealth freeing you from the mindset of scarcity and the debilitating money guilt often reinforced by societal and religious contexts. Money should be seen as energy, a concept that empowers you to align your vibrational frequency with abundance, attracting financial prosperity. This shift requires understanding that manipulating this energy can significantly change your financial reality. Moving beyond traditional prayers for wealth to a more active, assertive stance that claims ownership over abundance, effective engagement with, these principles transcends the need for superficial. Subscriptions and trendy manifestation techniques promoted on various platforms, true transformation stems from a deep understanding of these fundamental truths, encouraging profound personal and spiritual growth, practical steps towards financial abundance. Our understanding of life, Integ Ates. Three key dimensions physical, mental, and spiritual realms, which together form a holistic framework for grasping wealth and success. It's essential to harmonize these dimensions to effectively pursue financial. Goals, for example, consider a dedicated single mother working as a nurse for up to 60 hours a week, a scenario common to many whose relentless effort is influenced by a mindset of scarcity shaped by her beliefs, identity, and emotional energy. Central to achieving financial betterment is the role of mental attitude. Many labor under a belief in scarcity projecting a frequency of poverty, despite hard work, physical effort. While essential represents the most basic level of consciousness, and alone is insufficient for significant life transformations, the mental realm is 
crucial as it shapes our real reality, changing our physical. Circumstances without addressing our mental outlook is ineffective, for instance, to increase monthly earnings from $30,000 to $50,000. The initial step involves developing a mindset resonant with that income level rather than just working harder or adopting new techniques. This mental shift is crucial for any significant change. By viewing oneself as someone who adds greater value, one can innovate and transform daily tasks into purposeful activities. Incorporating spiritual alignment enhances these R. Esults creating a synergistic effect that promotes overall well-being and success. This comprehensive approach not only fosters ongoing development, but also ensures continuous learning and achievement transforming the pursuit of financial goals into a journey of holistic growth, transcending materiality for spiritual abundance. This emphasizes the primacy of mental attitude in achieving financial success, underscoring that the specific amount earned is secondary to cultivating the right mindset. The process starts with setting ambitious goals like earning $5, Zero thousand zero, and relying on the internal guidance of a higher wisdom to navigate the path to realization. This journey hinges on aligning beliefs, identity, focused thoughts, and emotional conviction with one's financial aspirations. When advising others, such as a friend who sought to increase his income, the emphasis is on embodying the wealth one seeks before it manifests by doubling his fees, despite initial client loss. The friend significantly improved his financial situation, illustrating the principle that adopting a mindset aligned with financial goals is crucial before, e taking practical steps rather than altering outcomes directly. The focus is on modifying underlying beliefs and emotions to overcome financial barriers. This foundational alignment facilitates genuine progress in wealth accumulation. These insights are not from a place of wealth, but from a deep understanding and enthusiasm for spreading no nald, offering a fresh and relatable perspective on achieving abundance. Their discussions are lengthy due to their passion for empowering others with their insights on abundance emphasizing its importance as a mindset are, other than a mere desire for more they believe understanding. This concept can transform lives, and they share their beliefs generously to inspire similar enthusiasm in others. Sometimes in individuals may express themselves in ways that seem hurtful without showing remorse, suggesting that focusing on minor negative comments could hinder understanding of more significant ideas. This raises questions about why some people feel more offended than others, with the intent behind such expressions often being a form of distinctive love. The concept of abundance, trans, sends numerical values as illustrated when individuals define. What abundance means to them ranging from 100 million to 1 billion. It represents a state of mind characterized by freedom from worries, serenity and joy existing. Beyond mere numbers, achieving abundance isn't just about reaching financial targets. It involves cultivating a serene and content disposition that attracts material wealth. This aligns with the belief that money, a form of energy, responds to our emotional states by feeling abundant. One can draw further abundance. This mindset also challenges traditional views of accumulating wealth before achieving. Peace instead. Experiencing peace first can attract material wealth, reflecting spiritual teachings about aligning with a higher state of being. Changing one's mental approach can influence not only financial situations, but overall life experiences to maintain this state of abundance. It's crucial to engage in practices that relax the mind and nurture the soul, like meditation and spending time in nature. These activities help sustain a vibrational state of abundance making it a constant presence wrath. Error than an occasional experience and guide individuals towards a reality where abundance is a steadfast companion. In conclusion, the journey to financial abundance is much more than just numbers and transactions. It's deeply rooted in our mental and emotional framework by starting with a mindset aligned with prosperity and consciously shaping our beliefs, identity, and emotions. We set the stage for the physical manifestation of wealth. Remember, real change begins from within, and once our internal state resonates with abundant, 
the external world follows suit. Embrace. This approach not just as a method, but as a transformational lifestyle, and watch as your financial reality shifts to reflect your highest aspirations. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey towards true wealth. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into creating a life of abundance.